Right, so first, first of all, you want to get all your ingredients together. You want chocolate, a lot of chocolate. I'd recommend definitely Cadbury's. You want some digestive biscuits, caramel if you want a caramel layer, I usually don't. Uh, butter, soft cheese, Philadelphia, and creme fraiche. And you want two, 250 grams of digestives, and you want to put them into a bag. Oh god, it's in freaking ounces, what do I do? Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, okay, well this has already gone wrong. 200 grams of digestive biscuits, and you want to make sure this is sealed. I'm going to put another bag around it as well, I'll tell you why in a second. You want to mash up all these biscuits, so you start off by just hitting it. Etc, etc, and then I would get a nice rolling pin and just smack it. You've mashed it for a couple of minutes. It should be okay enough to put in here, and then you can do the rest just with your hands, just crushing up each each piece. It's to a pretty good consistency. You want to get about 75 grams of butter, and you want to uh, that would do. I'll cut a tiny bit more. You want to melt that. It seems to have just exploded. Uh, oh shit. Oh dear. Oh for fuck's sake. Uh, the butter exploded in the microwave and has made a big mess, but the video isn't sending for some reason. But after that you want to pour the butter in there and oh shit, I need a spoon. You got to stir that round. You stir the butter in. You want to pour it into the, um, the cake tin you're using. Oh my god, that's way too much. Once you spread this round evenly, you want to start pressing it in. What needs to be solid. So you just keep pressing around everything. Now you want to put the biscuit base into the fridge. Um, I'll put it there. Now you want to get 300 grams of chocolate and you want to put too much in so you've got an excuse to eat quite a lot of chocolate. Yeah, I need to eat 43 grams. Once you've broken up all the chocolate you want to add 300 grams of Philadelphia cheese. Lovely. You want to add about 200 grams of creme fraiche. Don't even know what this stuff is. Um, oh dear, this is messy. Okay, that'll do. Now you want to boil a load of water, whack it in a pan, um, and then you want to get this and put it in. It's cru crucial that you keep stirring this whilst it's melting because you don't want any bits to burn on the bottom. See it's melting now and becoming much more of a liquid but there's still bits of chocolate still in it so you just gotta let it all melt, keep stirring it, if you don't want any bits to burn. I hope you're fucking enjoying this you pricks. Now you want, you want to get the uh, biscuit bit out of the fridge and you want to spread a tiny bit of caramel on it. But I really wouldn't put too much on, oh god I've never even done this, I don't even like caramel on it. Okay I think I'm going to bail this idea, it's stupid, it doesn't work. Once you can see it's nice and smooth, you want to take it off. Cool down the chocolate in a bowl of cold water, and we're going to heat up the caramel and try spreading it again. I wouldn't even even recommend putting the caramel in, but I'm being forced to. Uh, this looks grim. I'm sure I've done this wrong. You want to put this into there, but I can't really do it with one hand. Um, in fact, I guess I can. You, you want to get an even layer, I'm pretty sure I've burnt this, this has gone terribly wrong, this looks fucking horrible. Right, right, then you spread it all around, I've made three messy mini ones, and you want to just throw them all to use as in. Uh, like one in each one of these. Beautiful. I hope you, you all enjoyed this live video diary of how to make chocolate cheesecake. I'll tell you how it tastes later.